you better off having a Scorpio go find themselves after any formal, you know, schooling. Question schooling itself as well. But if you have a Scorpio child, I can tell you now any Scorpio adult will tell you upon reflection, let the child go figure themselves out. Don't enforce that a Scorpio goes into something that A is being told to them to do and then inflict a socioeconomic issue on top of that and then guilt trip them into doing something. As parents, that's horrible. Let a child go figure themselves out. The Scorpio child must go figure themselves out. If they want to go backpack, it's more Scorpios that want to do that. If they want to go, you know, find themselves as an artist, as a musician, as a comedian, it doesn't matter. Let them just go figure out who they are in different ways that life essentially affects them, especially them. Because how they view life after school and all that rigidness, they kind of think of, think of them having like a, 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 you know, a year or two years to be free. Think of that being the, the state in which you allow all that structure to finally be loosened in life. And that's what a Scorpio needs. So you will always find, and Scorpios will tell you in the comment section, that they will always lean to that which is a little bit more creative, especially if they have Scorpio in their moon and Scorpio in their, um, their ascendant. The rising, um, the sun Scorpios might lean towards the more traditional um, careers and then they get stuck in it and just saying, yeah, no, I'm not. I've always wanted to be creative, but that doesn't pay the bills in Daniel. So blah, 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 blah. those ones, those Scorpios in their moon and the Scorpios in their um, in their Venus and Scorpios in their rise or ascendant. You guys go check out your natal chart. You will you will find all that there. I know maybe you guys are not too much into it. Some of you guys, some of you are, some aren't. But for curiosity's sake. If you fall, fall under Scorpio in these different houses I've just or planets I've just mentioned, the nine times out of ten you need to be set free, man. You cannot have education straight after school. There will be a big gap that that is that is a bit overwhelming for those who are Scorpio to 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 feel, and they need to be loosened. And them just going out and it doesn't matter about money either. It's not about Scorpio having like the luxury of money. A Scorpio is very, very. Um, they make a plan, you know. In Af here in South Africa, us getting in South Africa, they'll tell you this very, very infamous term called a Burmark plan, which basically means a white man makes a, a farmer makes not white man, a farmer makes a plan, and that's a Scorpio. Scorpio makes a plan. If they get stuck somewhere, they will figure something out, and they need to learn that about themselves. So, as a mother, as a father, as a guardian of a Scorpio, you need to really trust that they have the ability in being born under this energy to figure shit out, and they really always do. And letting themselves learn through their own mistakes and their own, you know, the opposite of mistakes is a very important thing for a Scorpio to feel, especially when they're young. Especially if they're female, women, young girls, they need to go live life, figure th them sh this shit out. They need to make mistakes. They need to literally learn from their mistakes. And as an adult, they'll be better for it. I promise you now, their hearts will be open because that's an area where normally a Scorpio's heart is very closed and it normally gets closed in the adult life. There's chest issues with the Scorpio, heart issues with the Scorpio, lung issues with the Scorpio tendency to um, always have a vice Scorpios and vices <laughs> smoking smoking so it that is all repercussions of not really having that freedom straight after like maybe primary school um, or elementary school in the States or whatever you there where they matriculate after that just before they go to college or decide what they want to study they must first have literally a year two years of just figuring shit out they must be homeless rich free open nearly nearly got into some shit you know but they were able to get themselves out they must just go through the complexities of life and what life has to offer the type of people the type of places and let a scorpio come back after all of that life and then decide what they want to study 
I promise you, the well-being of your great-grandchildren depend on you being present with these moments in your Scorpio child's life. The well-being of your great-grandchildren depends on you being present with this Scorpio in your life. Scorpio need freedom to explore who they are. If they don't have it, it becomes very, very dangerous in their mental health situations. Go to the, the mental health institutions. Go to the psychiatrist. Ask them just out of curiosity. Yeah? Is Scorpio in the mix? And there's, there's many. And like I said, it's all just because they never had the freedom. And I really hope if you find yourself in that position as an adult, you seek out the kind of help that uh, you, you need and you feel led to. But more so, I know you don't like asking for help and I know you don't like talking about these things, but if you were one of my students, I'd teach you literally, we do literally a course centered around the object of play. Because I know Scorpios don't meditate well and their form of meditation is more somatic than anything still. But if you were to want to learn how to be static in your meditation, um, and I say that very loosely, then, yeah, I, I center this whole program around like playfulness and, and learning to capture that child essence again, which is normally lost because you just did schooling and then you go into more schooling and you're just molding a very, very messed up nervous system. And then after that schooling, it's again flippant work you hammering a Scorpio energy can't do that absolutely gonna end up with a bitter person ask the adult Scorpios um, who never had that chance you'll see so I share this with you just so that the parents of Scorpios guardians of Scorpios just really sit back don't believe what I'm saying just contemplate digest look at the Scorpio child in your life think about how they talk how they vibrate how they operate their difference and don't try and control them, really. You you really want to control them will be the reason why they they have no control. You must trust your Scorpio child. And if they make a mistake, when they realize it's them making or creating the mistake, that's when the teaching takes place. It's when it's just them and the situation and they must learn from it. But if you control it, and you must have a vulnerability in you being accessible without judgment to a Scorpio. Scorpios aren't good with the whole, oh, you're coming back now. I told you, I told you. You can't do that to a Scorpio child. Don't ever do that. Even if you were right, keep quiet and be soft with a, uh, a Scorpio. Let them come in with safety. Even if they made a mistake, say it's fine. I'm proud of you for making a mistake, Scorpio. It's what you're supposed to do. We are not judged on these things. It is just more the alchemization that is only to our benefit and the nurturing in those mistakes that is to the Scorpio's benefit. But if you sit there on a high horse saying, yeah, Scorpio, yeah, Scorpio, no, you're never going to have communication. They're never going to tell you anything and they won't ever tell you anything. I wouldn't tell you shit if you did that to me. That's some bullshit to do that. You, your ego must be put in check if you have that energy as an adult. And worse, if, it's, if, if that's what you're doing to a friend, a brother, a sister, a mother, an aunt, or even your daughter or your son you should never do that. Never guilt trip a Scorpio. You are you are damaging their their mental health completely. And they, they're not brave enough to say it because they don't realize how deep it is, because they have to spend time to feel how deep that moment is before they can realize what the hell that constraint, that retained nature and that judgmental nature made them feel. This is why they don't just speak to anyone and tell anyone shit. Don't just go to psych psychiatrists and psychologists, but some of them are popping. And they don't know why. They have no idea why, where it comes from. You know, the idea of what normal is is tainted a little bit because of how they were treated. And to be fair, Scorpio parents don't have a manual on this book. Like if this was a book, How to Raise a Scorpio Child, yeah, I would be make millions, more than millions probably won't have to do these videos anymore but i promise you just digest this and think about your kid and then put two and two together